Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Friday, it is Friday so it is weigh in day. We're gonna talk about my week, I'm gonna share with you an update on the update again and of course we're gonna chat about this week's WW workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we do a weigh in every Friday and I upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. This is how I this is how I've lost the majority of my weight, so I highly recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability and if you would like to talk with me directly. Links, discount to my favorite things and of course come on over join our Facebook group we would love to have you so let's jump into my week my weigh-in an update on the update and the WW workshop topic Friday, friends. I hope you had an absolutely amazing week. Before we jump into my week, an update on the update. Sunday. The video is coming out Sunday and you are not going to want to miss it. I mean, we are talking about a lot. We're talking body scan, plastic surgery, goal weight, what's happening with my channel, quitting WW. We're talking all about it on Sunday. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss it. We're already in the second week of February. Like I mentioned last week, I feel like January was like 80 days long. It was one of the slowest months. It's always a slow month for me. And now I feel like February is just flying by, which I'm not mad about. Especially if you live in a colder climate, you're probably really grateful that February is flying by so that you can get to a little bit warmer weather. We've been very blessed. It was actually 80 degrees on Sunday, which was crazy. This was the coldest January in 10 years in Arizona. And of course, it's the January that we live here. And it's the January that I'm doing boot camp outside at 5 a.m. So just my luck that this is the coldest one in the last 10 years, but I feel like we've moved past that and the weather is just getting nicer and nicer and I'm so excited about that. I had a very good week this week. Very productive, very, very busy. I have been extremely busy with coaching, which makes my heart so happy. And I had a really exciting thing happen this week. I hit 50 thousand subscribers. That is a goal that I have had for my channel since the beginning. I want to help as many people as I can and to see that all of my consistency and hard work on my channel is paying off by growing my subscribers. It just makes me really, really happy. So thank you so much to each and every one of you who are not only subscribed, but watch my videos on a regular basis. It really helps me out financially, helps support my family. You know, my husband is unable to work, so I am the income of this house and it really means a lot to me that you continue to watch all my videos and support me in any way that you can. I, I am doing a huge 50k giveaway. I will put all of the information for that down in the description box. There is a post on my community tab and I talked about it a little bit in my what I eat in a day this week as well. So I'll link that video down below for you. It's super simple to enter the giveaway. Just make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I will be double checking this. Better yet, turn your bell on and leave a comment on today's video as to why you want to win the 50k giveaway and maybe your favorite thing about my channel or some content that you would like to see in the future. It's that simple. I am doing a bonus entry if you follow me over on Instagram. So I'll put my Instagram here on the screen as well. I was able to get in all of my workouts this week. I changed my macros up a little bit this week. I am always overeating my fat. I apparently like to choose foods that have a lot of fat and I'm really, tr I was really trying to focus on leaning down a little bit, not necessarily losing weight per se, but leaning down. So I did decreased my fat a little bit this week and upped my carbs and it made a big difference, not only in my energy, but also in the scale. So I'll be sharing that with you as soon as we chat about this week's WW workshop topic. And this week's topic is how to be kinder to yourself. I always say that if we have a friend or a family member, or even an acquaintance who's struggling, we are there to support them. We are lifting them up. We are saying positive things to them, but we don't always do that to ourselves. We're always 
always putting ourselves down, self-criticizing, calling ourselves failures. Whenever we make a mistake, we're the worst person in the world. We need to start treating ourselves more like we treat the people we love and our friends. So I'm really excited that Weight Watchers is focusing on a little bit of self-love this week. We normally are hard on ourselves when we hit a setback. Maybe the weight isn't coming off as quickly as we would like it, or maybe we overate one day, or maybe we haven't been sticking with our diet at all. This is when our inner bully comes out and it can really wreak havoc on our mental health. We need to have a more compassionate voice for ourselves. Again, just like we do for our friends and our family. So here are a few things to try. Think about the times you or your loved ones have struggled. List the kind words or encouraging phrases that you that they said to you or you said to them. Number two, circle the phrases that might feel most comforting to you during tough times. You got this, keep going, you are strong, I believe in you, this won't break you. And number three, post one or more of the circled statements where you see it regularly. When you spot it on your mirror, scale, coffee maker, or wherever, say, the word to yourself. You can write this on a sticky note. You can print this off. I highly recommend putting something like this on your refrigerator. So when you're beating yourself up for your food choices, you have a positive phrase right in front of you. If your default thoughts during your weight loss journey sound a little bit more like a drill sergeant than a friend, this is the perfect topic for you. Sometimes self-criticism is so automatic that we just do it without even thinking. And we really have to be mindful and stop ourselves in our tracks. Think about the things that you say to yourself and whether you would say those to a friend. And if the answer is no, you probably shouldn't be saying them to yourself either. Also, we're human and we're going to make mistakes and we're going to have setbacks. That is part of this journey. It doesn't mean that you're a failure. It doesn't mean that you're not going to hit your goals. It means that you're human and it's going to happen. You just have to expect that and not beat yourself up when it does. By saying nice things to yourself, you can really develop a healthier pattern of thinking. Instead of saying, I'm a failure, I gained on the scale this week, you could say something to yourself like, you know what? I made a couple of choices this week that led to a gain on the scale starting over today. Those are the types of things that we want to focus on. I also want to share with you three fast facts from Weight Watchers. Number one, responding to a setback with self-criticism can fuel the setback, making it more difficult to move past it. Number two, treating ourselves with compassion can increase our motivation to get up and try again. And number three, we have the power to change our self-critical thoughts to more self-compassionate ones. Really the takeaway from today's topic is to treat yourself like you treat others. You don't tell your friend that she's a failure because she ate a donut. So don't tell yourself that you're a failure as well. Pretend you're your friend or your loved one and talk to yourself in that same compassionate way. I promise you this can make a huge difference on your weight loss journey and your mental health while navigating through weight loss. So again, I really like this topic. It's the month of Valentine's Day, so it's the month to really give ourselves a little bit of love as well. Do something for your physical and mental health this month that takes care of you. We're so busy taking care of everybody else. Make it a point this month to do something for yourself. So now let's jump into my weigh-in for the week. Like I said, I scaled back on my fat and increased my carbohydrates a little bit, and then I always meet my protein goal. That's something that's just a guarantee every single day. But by maneuvering my macros around a little bit to not only fit my activity level, but my dietary and physical changes that I'm after. It really, really helped not only fuel my body this week, make me feel like I had a little bit more energy. I wasn't even having two coffees every single day. I was having my one coffee, then focusing on lemon water or orange water. Citrus is in season here, so I've been putting that in my water, and that's been really, really nice to have naturally flavored water. And all of that together led to a loss on the scale this week. So when I stepped on the scale, I'm actually down 1.2 pounds. Now that is the most that I have lost in I don't know how long. It's either maintenance, up a little bit, down a little bit. So the fact that changing my macros really benefited me overall means that I'm making positive changes in the right direction to help me reach my goals that I've set for myself. I couldn't be happier with minus 1.2 pounds, just continuing to move in the right direction while enjoying myself. I mean, I ate out, I had Girl Scout cookies this week, I still lived my life and enjoyed myself just in moderation and it led to a loss of 1.2 pounds. How was your week? Did you gain, did you lose? And do you find yourself falling in the trap where you're not talking so nicely to yourself? Definitely let me know down in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because again, I upload away in every Friday and five videos 
per week. Down in the description box is nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come and join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul and in that massive, massive update video on Sunday. You're not going to want to miss it. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.